already. So this one's gonna be different. There's no mail to open today. I'm gonna actually do my first review. And that review is gonna be for a movie called Cherokee Creek by Todd Jenkins. Holy shit. This movie came out of fucking nowhere. I had no idea what to expect going into it. And honestly, I went in not expecting a whole lot as most Bigfoot movies to me are kind of fucking lame. And after just seeing Alabama Sasquatch, which had its moments overall sucked but this one Cherokee Creek so it's about these guys taking their buddy out to the woods for a bachelor party and in those woods there's a Sasquatch and if you defecate urinate or fornicate in his woods he becomes irate <laughs> and when i saw that tagline i fucking died that fucking that was fucking funny anyways the acting todd jenkins and the rest of the crew fucking killed it they blended the humor and the gore perfectly i'm not big on a lot of comedy shit I generally just want gore, disgust, debauchery. That movie, Cherokee Creek, it delivered on those three, but the humor was, was top tier. Nice and sleazy, funny, rude, crude, everything you want in a fucking independent horror movie. You guys really should check this out. Um, there's no physical copy yet. You're gonna have to get it through iTunes, Google Play. Um, I think they said it's on Vudu. One place you won't be able to get it is through Amazon streaming service because they're a bunch of fucking morons. They say it's too offensive to have on their service because it's making fun of fucking Indians or natives. They clearly didn't watch this fucking movie. There's nothing to do with Native Americans in this. The fucking location just happens to be called Cherokee Creek. And if you really think the Sasquatch is their version of a native, just fucking kill yourself. Um, the movie's like 10 bucks. Don't be a douchebag pirate. Fucking support these guys. They did a fucking great job. Like, there's really not much bad to say. The movie was a bit longer than I'm used to. Clocking in at near two hours. Most movies I like are around 80 minutes. So for this to keep my attention for that long without constantly checking my phone or going out for a smoke, they did something right. Um, yeah, this was just, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. This movie was just a fucking punch in the dick of greatness. Like, you... you I don't even know what else to say. Support these fucking guys. They they deserve all the praise they get for this movie right now. It had something new. I'm not going to say what it was, but there's one scene in particular that that really gets you. It's it's super bloody, it's super funny and it might have been in one or two other movies, but these guys, these guys did it right. And 
some of the effects look like they could have been done by like some of the greats like James Bell or Marcus Cook. Uh, I, I don't remember I don't remember the effects company that worked for these guys, but they did a phenomenal job. I do wish there were there was less CG blood splatter in the movie. CG is one thing that really irks me, but thankfully they really only used it for little bits of blood splatter when someone would get shot. Um, all the arterial spraying and limb severing and the Sasquatch itself were all practical effects, costumes, makeup, and it looked great. Um, I am so looking forward to Todd's next endeavor. I will be supporting him 100%, sharing the fuck out of it if he goes through an Indiegogo or a Kickstarter. Uh, so yeah, if you like blood, boobs, gore, decapitations, then check this movie out. If you like slasher movies, check this movie out. Creature features, check this movie out. Comedies, check this movie out. It's got something for everyone. Just fucking get it. It is... Here's what the page will look like on iTunes. Please, please support these guys. It is January 13th. It is... It is uh, Mr. Jenkins' birthday today. So, wish him a happy birthday by buying his movie. I would appreciate it, and he sure as fuck would appreciate it. Just support Indy, please. These guys need to get their movies out. All Hollywood does is make a bunch of fucking remakes and reboots. It's all unoriginal bullshit. Overpaid fucking production companies just fucking cashing in on the retardation of society the independents make their movies with love and true passion they're the ones that need to be supported just just please support them in any way you can share the video if you don't have the money to purchase it bookmark the page so that when you do have money you can go back and purchase it just Anything you can do, please help these guys keep making movies. This was my first review. I know it wasn't that great. Hopefully they'll get better with time. Um, yeah, just please, just check this movie out. It is fucking great. Just, just get it. It's, that's all I can say. It's just too good not to watch. You're gonna, you're gonna love it, guaranteed. There's nothing not to like about this movie. Like I said, I love short, non-funny movies. This was a long-ass fucking funny movie, and I loved it. I've seen it twice already since it's come out. That's how much I've liked this movie. I normally don't watch a movie twice within two weeks but this one deserved it. It is too good. And with that, I'm out of here. Peace.